And so again, like I said, quote, St. Vincent's security guard, he's fucking useless. And so, Tom Serson, Jim Riley, Joe Zillick, Harry Race, Bernard LeChance, DJ Day, Billy Duquin, Juan Hilton Anderson, John Wiley, 1961 Oyster Cracker Man, Big Bad Four, Blue Boy Boxes, GPS Pass on Robo, Red Piss Night, Small Fry, Red Randy, Red Gordon, and Hillary, Jim Hall, Bill DeVault, Doug King, so on and so forth. You guys basically talk to super hardy chicks and the girls that it's okay to do it. Always has been that way, Bernard. And then when it doesn't work out to you, to your advantage, or per leaders a day, if you go into crybaby carny fit mode. Same with the hillbillies. Hillbilly squab. Or, or any other group. The ghetto life. And so you guys don't like it when the super hardy chicks or the other girls do it? When you men taught them it was okay to do it? As soon as techno music lights up, then Dave and Bernard go into action. The group of you keep losing Bernard because most of them have already dealt with this and they know you're abusers and the group of you have always been lying out here. And then use St. Vincent's to screw over the military, the police, other entities, pretty much anything for your, your pathetic rise into power, Bernard. And then you guys decide to latch on to Bailey or Kim or my cousins or Sasha, <laughs> Red Randy and them swapping around and or whoever. And then they get pissed. It goes by your behavior, dudes. It's the way it's always been. So what, you're upset that it, it came under, um, from under, after you steal it, you doesn't hold stable, Joe and Stan, Bernard? You can't figure out why yet? I've just accepted that the girls already knew more and got it to work a long time ago, Bernard. Like by simply just telling them that I love them and just accepting the fact. That's how a lot of them got it to work before, until the group of you decided to come through Colorado and whatever, and you like dismantle it for your LGBT ness. Now, now he's gonna, now your Carney Bernard's gonna try to take it away to the 80s and then does ghetto life. You can't, can't understand why it doesn't work, on huh, Bernard. Maybe because you guys keep forcing Perlita and Dave and the Robo Knight into a position that was never yours after trashing this city. Maybe, maybe Berlita, because you went after the Russian girl and the and the, the Schwartzes, the Judah girls, and then you guys make up your prison fag taco story, Bernard Bridges. Oh, I wonder what you do, Joe. And then you guys get pissed when the girls figure it out and emulate it. I think Bernard. I think if you're not, if you weren't if you're unsatisfactory in bed, <laughs> if you weren't adequate, <laughs> that was enough for them. So, you're wondering why this one still doesn't work, huh, Bernard? <laughs> Maybe, Carney Bernard, you and the Cowboy Country and Western Federation have screwed over so many children <laughs> and screwed it up out here, and you guys killed or removed disciplinary figures or authority figures that knew what they were doing to to assert that the cowboy country in Western Indian way cut open and stank with the Negroes is the way to go. <laughs> See why Joe forced me to be friends with the Negro? <laughs> Jonestown your ball Negro. He did it so he could, they, they, those men could be fag and get away with their crime. <laughs> and then you guys get pissed at this, the girls, the super agents and girls start to work together and do their own. <laughs> Maybe Red Randy. Maybe. Picking state to make a shit. Google Duncan and whispering faggot to throw out in your team. Joe and Harry. You guys should have just left people's kids alone. All American and Jilla. You guys are wondering why, huh? Maybe Bernard. Randy's little con and set. And his little Kim doll don't work. Maybe Bernard. You abused Kim. And Ellery did too. <laughs> Maybe the Robo Rapist Knight also abused Bailey and his clicker faction out here. Maybe Bernard. Joe Zillig abused Holly and Amanda and Michael with you guys' burn. And then the Faust Boys. And you guys are wondering why you're getting tanked down.
Well, Dave, you you said it a while ago. <laughs> you said that the techno music was for the for the gods, I guess, right? <laughs> so you got Cooter and Dorfmeister and useless. It did exactly that. And then when you guys went to report overseas about how Joe and them were the minister of the world of music and sound, they figured out that the group of you were so full of shit it wasn't even funny. <laughs> and then they find out that you guys rape and mutilate and abuse your own family members. And you wonder why it doesn't work? It's because Joe fucked up her shit. <laughs> Both of them, everybody you shit. <laughs> to put in the spoiled child. So they let you do my Dave, but you gotta remember you had a large friend pool as well. And so, with that roaming around, are you sure they're all going to agree with you? Harry and them and the Cowboy Federation just latched on to the ravers and that woman in the red house and started squealing because they were pussies that were caught a long time ago. It's called flipping. Because they were most likely addicts anyway during the 70s. So like I said, Harry, Joe, hypocrites, Bernard, you guys are in people's houses, fags, carnies, hypocrites. Come sit next to me, right, 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 <laughs> swap. You guys are a joke. You'll never win. Your margin of winning against super ugly chicks or any women guys is like that much. Because like I said, through your own behavioral actions, you guys taught them it was okay to do. And that's what they do. So in order to even remotely get back, you guys got to be absolutely perfect through birth till, you know, they decide. And well, since most women have to birth males through their womb, that's probably going to be the hardest thing you guys will ever, ever achieve.